In my previous video, I introduced you the Enstoff, a relatively unknown German superweapon. In this video, I introduce you the secret underground factory where it was produced. Falkenhagen is a small German village approximately 50 kilometers east from Berlin. The factory had been built as the result of a decision made by the German Army High Command in 1938 to start the manufacture of Enstoff, an aggressive, highly inflammable substance that needs very special handling. At this point, the secret armaments factory was under the codename Zeewerk or Seaworks. In order to remain perfectly dry, the factory needed a shell 5 meters thick to prevent any intrusion from the water table. It was envisaged that the whole production process would take place underground as far as loading the finished product in steel containers on railway wagons. Above-ground laboratories and plants were erected to enable the preliminary development of the manufacturing process from laboratory to factory-scale production. In fact, the construction of the bunker was to take until 1943, a full five years to complete. The delaying factor being the difficulty of meeting the manpower requirements at the height of the war. Because it was stipulated that only German-born nationals could be employed. When Albert Speer became the Minister for Armaments and Munitions in 1942, he decided to implement the production of Tabun and Sarin two later-generation nerve gases at the same site. The two products were kept completely separate. Considerable effort was given by the Germans to camouflaging the site from aerial observation. The tracks followed the contour of a new concrete road through the forest built to detour local traffic away from the site and were countersunk in the road surface to conceal their profile. The upper level of the five-story factory was concealed under a natural hill in such a way that a railway line ran through it in a tunnel. Three ventilation towers projected above the hill below the height of the tops of the trees that covered it. The factory was operational for only for a brief period between October of 1944 and February of 1945. Altogether, approximately 30 to 50 tons of Enstoff were finally produced. When the Red Army established bridgeheads across the Oder River at the beginning of February of 1945, production was hastily abandoned. Clearly, the factory and site would have been stripped by the Soviets of everything removable in 1945. Having no further interest in the site, at that time the Soviets handed it back to the local authorities and it was not until the 1950s that the Red Army returned to establish a unit in Falkenhagen. In this connection it is believed that the principal communications facility for the headquarters of the group of Soviet forces in Germany at Zossen Wünsdorf was moved here following the Anglo-American spy tunnel intercept from the southeast corner of the American sector of Berlin being discovered in April of 1956. However, in 1965 a highly classified main command center of the Warsaw Pact was established in the complex and a state-of-the-art nuclear and chemical warfare-proof underground bunker with supporting facilities was built up. Over the years, a Soviet village was also built up, including large residential areas, a cinema and even a kindergarten. 
it is known that the Warsaw Pact exercises were conducted here and from 1988 onwards helicopters were heard landing at the site. With the unification of Germany in 1990, the Falkenhagen complex again became the scene of dismantling and abandonment and the last Russians left in 1992. Left were a vast amount of meticulously stripped installations, including the giant underground bunker. <laughs>